Hello everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am here today with my 2017 Project Life pocket page, whatever we're calling it, um, album cover, front page. Um, I am scrapping 9 by 12 this year just for something different and so far actually I'm loving it. Um, I like the smaller size, it's just a bit easier for me personally to work with and I don't have children, it's just me and my partner and our two dogs and a cat so you know I take photos but not a crazy amount of photos so for me at the moment the stage of life I am currently at 9 by 12 is perfect so because I'm doing 9 by 12 I um, picked one of the smaller um, 3 by 3 squared uh, pages for my front cover and sorry about the this is probably gonna make your eyes look a bit crazy um, I'm using items from my scrapbook roulette challenge so if you don't know what scrapbook roulette is it's a series my sister and I are doing on our channel which is just helping us use things and rediscover things from our stash so we randomly generate five items a month just to kind of keep out on our desks and try and use not use up or anything like that just try and use things from our stash and you know rediscover and enjoy some of the things that we have already as well as obviously being able to use newer products and things like that um, and we're yeah so far this is only month one but I am enjoying it so one of my items was packaging or and this is um, wrapping paper that I'd kept and I love it it's beautiful and I'm glad I kept it and I really like how it looks um, particularly in my pocket page album um, and so yeah really happy to be using it so I am I've chosen for my 2017 album to kind of do quotes and kind of motivating things on the front page so I didn't put photos or anything like that I just decided something different this year um, these that I'm cutting up well the two cards I just cut up the one I'm cutting up now are actually from Kiki K which is a scrapbooking not a scrapbooking a stationery shop in Australia I actually don't think it's Australian so I imagine it's around the world um, they were just some like motivational cards I think they they kind of marketed them as things that you could create vision boards with um, and I bought them in a sale and yeah decided I'd cut some of those up so at the moment I'm just placing out where I'd like my nine little squares to be I'm sorry that some of the bottom ones are, are cut off I need to fix my filming setup a bit my wonderful beautiful father who will not be listening to this but perhaps my mother is <laughs> um, is making me a stand for my phone so I can film but he hasn't done that yet nudge nudge mum give that a little nudge um, and so at the moment I've, I've got a good you know system going where I've got a flexible tripod that I connect to a piece of wood that I precariously balance on my computer and my window <laughs> and it works for me but it just means I'm a bit limited in how high up my phone can be so I can't it's it's difficult for me to get it any higher up so which means I have to cut off a little bit of my filming but that's alright we make it work so here I am I'm just trimming down a few of these cards because I want to put them on top of the pattern paper um, I do decide not to use all of the different um, kind of sayings and things that I have some of them I had printed on um, I had printed out myself on my picture mate using like glossy photo paper and it just didn't quite have the same look as the other cards that I was using so I scrapped pretty much all of those and just kept the 2017 one um, so I'm using up a doily which is also from my roulette challenge and sticking that down on a couple of those pieces of paper and just figuring out yeah sort of placement and embellishment I do use a acetate piece down the bottom in the middle there with a camera gold foil camera on it which is really cute and I don't do anything to that card it just stays as is um, so I'm just trimming down a couple of these quotes to yeah to fit on top of the pattern paper like I said I'm kind of it's a very simple layout this one I'm really um, just using up some of the things that were in my stash so you can see there I had one sticker left that says every day um, and I decided that I would use that on the front there on that 
um, card in the middle which says actually I can and I thought every day kind of fitted there and it was gold and I'm also if you watched my Raskog clean up video if that's gone up yet it should have um, I'll link it if it has and I I had a few random sticker sheets that only had one or two stickers left on them I actually pulled all of those out and left them on my desk and I'm just trying to use them up so you'll see me use a couple on this spread and that every day was one of them it was the last sticker I had left on a sheet so I'm glad I could use that and throw that out so I'm just sticking down those um, different quotes and phrases onto the cards so the top middle one I put a doily underneath and then stuck down and the one on the bottom right I stuck over top of the half doily which says be brave with your life which you know I thought was cute now I'm pulling out some of my enamel dots and wood veneer I don't think any wood veneer make it onto the page actually but I do pull out some of my other bits and pieces these little containers just stay on my desk the one on the left which is out of frame now has lots of small embellishments in it that I do use for DIY embellishments but um, you know it has lots of smaller things in there uh, my glue pen was clogged here so should have totally edited that out but I didn't I'm just um, unclogging it and then using it to stick down this treble clef so I do play a musical instrument so music is a very big part of my life and my partner's life he's also a music teacher um, and so I wanted to kind of just put the treble clef on the front page because it does represent a big part of what we do so I'm trying to decide what to put on that card there on the right it's a very busy um, piece of paper so I did stick a circle wood veneer um, down which has a word in it that I can't read on my small editing screen but it gets too lost in that pattern paper so I do scrap that and I stick down two glitter hearts instead so one blue one and one pink one and I hang it off the side a bit and trim it and then I'm pretty sure I just add a few wood uh, enamel dots sorry not wood veneer enamel dots to that um, card and then I think oh yeah some cute blue um, enamel dots and I'm pretty sure I just add a few more enamel dots um, around the page and yeah on a few of the different cards I add some hearts to that one which is, is a heart that has you in the middle of it and then I add a couple more to um, a couple of my other cards and then I'm pretty much done I do add a few mists which is also from my roulette challenge items I do mist on a few of the cards I put some of the ones that aren't gonna have mist back in I'm just sort of trying to work out where I want them all to sit and I'm pretty much almost where they're gonna go now I do swap one of the cards around so yeah I really liked those cute hearts I got them in a happy mail um, from one of my lovely friends so I've used up pretty much all of those now because I think they're super cute so I'm just clearing out my workspace a bit because I do want to do some misting and I don't like to get it on you know the rest of my work surface so I'm tidying things up I'm thinking about how this is going to go and I just sprinkle a little bit of gold on the music note one and a little bit of gold um, on the, the one with the hearts and then I think I might add a little bit of navy to some of my lighter colored cards so just the one that says passion changes everything find yourself and be that and be brave with your life and we are at the end so that is my cover page I hope you like it I hope you like this video and please tune in for the next one all right guys we'll see you in the next video bye